Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to Nat Fashion Hub, your solution to fashion. Welcome. Today I want to talk about um, the crotch of the trouser. You know, so many persons have issues with um, how to locate the right measurement for a crotch when they are making or cutting a trouser. So today in this video I want to I want us to take some time to address that to know how to get our crotch accurately. And by the way, what is crotch? Crotch simply is the is called the zip flap, is the allowance, the, the length from your waist to to the to the under of your trouser that is the tie, you know. So it's just the allowance where your zip lies. That's the crotch. And so today we're going to to get the formula for locating our accurate crotch for plain trouser thank you so much so if you have not subscribed to this channel please hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so that you don't miss out when i drop other videos because i'm going to drop in a lot of videos if you don't subscribe you will not know when i drop a video and you will be missing out so quickly let us start our class for today thank you this video has been i decided to do this video because so many persons are confused as to how to get an accurate crotch measurement when cutting a trouser and getting a crotch measurement can be as simple as anything and basically i'll be using just two measurements so that you won't be confused i'll use just the waist measurement and the, the lap or the tie measurement so that you will not be confused so quickly let's start before we do anything we minus half inch allowance from from this from here minus half inch allowance from the side of this fabric and minus half inch allowance so this is our half inch allowance you know you minus allowance so that um, you'll be sure of the how straight your fabric is because when you measure and you remove like this you are sure that the fabric is now straight the edges are straight so quickly let's use the first measurements we use about two three measurements to to check how to get an accurate crotch so the first measurement we're using is we use a waist of 30 and a tie or trouser width or lap of 22. So if you check my other videos, I have, I have talked about trouser. When you are cutting a trouser, you divide the waist measurement by 4. So waist measurement which is 30 here, divide by 4 is equal to 7.5. And the tie measurement or the lap, you divide it by 2. So 22 divided by 2 is equal to, equal to 11. So let us start. So when you want to cut your trouser first you know after the, after after this you you will you minus let's minus half inch you see I'm minusing half inch from this line i drew here I'm minusing half inch from it before we start taking my waist measurement and we say our waist measurement is what? Is 30. So 30 divided by 4, you have 7.5 plus only half inch allowance. I'm going to make another video and I'll talk about the allowances you give to a trouser, why you give them, and the maximum allowance you should give. So for this very um, tutorial we're doing, our waist is 30 divided by 4, you have 7.5 plus half inch same allowance that will be eight so this is our eight so the first thing we have done is to locate our waist measurement and we say waist measurement is taken is divided by four plus half inch allowance so our 30 which is the waist divided by four you will 7.5 plus half inch allowance is equal to what eight and mind you we said we are setting our allowance half inch into this line that is that's our measurement half inch into this line so after locating your waist you, you remove one inch from the waist this is one inch before you can now take your crotch length now how do we get our crotch length 
crotch, the formula for getting crotch, now pay attention, the formula for getting crotch is, crotch is equal to waist measurement divided by 4 plus either 1 inch or 1.5 inches or 2 inches allowance. Crotch is equal to waist measurement divided by 4 plus 1 inch or 1.5 inches or 2 inches allowance. Now, why does this allowance vary? This is because for a plain trouser which is very fitted, you add only 1 inch after you divided your waist by 4 to get your crotch length. But if you want the trouser to be a bit free, you add 1.5 inch. If you want it to be loose, you add 2 inches. And this is basically for mostly elderly people that doesn't want their clothes to be tight to their body. They want free allowance, so after dividing their waist by 4, you still add either 1.5 inches or 2 inches to whatever you, 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 you got to be able to get the crotch length. So for this trouser we're making, it's a fitted trouser, so we divide our waist by 4 and add only 1 inch to it. So our waist is 30, divided by 4 you have 7.5 plus 1 inch, that becomes 8.5. So our crotch length is 8.5 from this one inch here. Our crotch length is 8.5. There we have located our crotch length 8.5. The next thing we will do is to locate our lap, the tie measurement. I'm going to extend this line straight to this side. You see that crotch line. Now on this crotch line, you locate your lap measurement. Or your tie and we say tie is divided by 2 for here we have our tie to be 22 divided by 2 is equal to 11 so we'll mark our 11 from here watch carefully look at this from here from this having to remove here we'll mark we'll locate our 11 look at our 11 here so this is our 11 now the next thing we'll do is to extend this line down how can we do that we measure from here to this one to this line here is eight and a half so we bring it down Eight and a half, mark it here and join this point to this point so as to see your crotch clearly. Now, the next thing to do is to curve our crotch. This is another crucial point because if you don't know how to curve, curve this crotch, you still get it wrongly. Now, the formula for, for curving this crotch is you measure two inches upwards from this tie or lap line. Two inches upwards. These are two inches. So the curve for this crotch starts from here and ends here. So this is how we're going to curve it. If you have your curves, you can use them. If you don't have, you can still use your free hand. Like I'm using my free hand here. I like using my free hand. You see? This is how you curve your crotch neatly. See? The next thing we do is to join this line back to the waist. Can we see this half this one inch this one inch we marked here will join it back to the waist and also very importantly for adults the pocket is measured seven inches from the waist it's located seven inches from the waist so if we mark from the waist here seven inches down this is our pocket area right so this it means this is where our pocket will be but that is not emphasis for today so how do you now join this line to The lap line. This is how you join it. You see? So if you look very well, our trouser is already curving in from this point. It's already taking a shape. By the time we locate our half length and we curve it, you see that the shape will come out now very, very fine. But we're not going into this today. Our emphasis is not on it's not on how to cut a trouser today. Our emphasis is on how to accurately locate the crotch when cutting a trouser. So let's use another measurement and still see how we can um, do that. So for example, if we are using if we are using a waist of 32 and a and a tie of 24. How can we get our crotch? So, another measurement. For a waist of 32, we divide it by 4. That will be equal to 8. Plus 1 inch. Or let's use plus 1.5 inch now. 
8 plus 1.5 inch, let's rather be a bit free, is equal to 9.5. That is 9 and a half. So for a waist of 32, the crotch length is 9 and a half. If we are using an allowance of what? 1.5 inches. If we are using an allowance of 1 inch, that would have been 8 plus 1 inch and it would have been what? 9. If it were 2 inches we are using for the allowance, it would have been 8 plus what? 2 inches and our crotch length would have been what? 10. But for this one, we are using an allowance of what? 1.5 inches. Please follow and don't be confused. So, 32 divided by 4 is 8 plus 1.5 inches is equal to what? 9.5 inches. It means for this trouser, the crotch length will be 9.5 inches. So let's locate it. You see? So, the waist is 8. We say waist is equal to 32. 32 divide by 4. You see my half inch out of this line? 32 divided by 4, that will be 8. Plus half inch, see my lama, that will be 8 and a half. So now this is our new waistline, 8 and a half. As usual, we still minus 1 inch from the waist before taking our crotch. And our crotch is say we are using 9.5. So this is 9.5. As usual, we extend the line to this side right then we'll take our lap measurement and we say the lap for this waist of 22 is a lap of what 24 if we divide 24 by 2 you have what you have 12 so it means our lap here is what 12 so this will be the location of our what our lap 12 you see 12 now the same thing we did from here to this line we drew here is one nine and a half so we extend this nine and a half down mark it so that we can join our crotch line this is our crotch line we join crotch, so we can go we are our crotch line so the next thing is how to come it and if you remember i said you should measure two inches upwards from the word the tie or the lap and then you do what you curve knitting you curve you see so then you see so join this line back to the waist so you see for a waist of for a waist of i'm using this chalk so that i can see very clear it's very bold so i can see very clear for a waist of 32 this will be our crotch so the formula applies if the waist is 40 you still divide by 4 and you will have 10 and I want to, uh, to, to to tell you this, the bigger the waist, the bigger, the longer the crotch. Because if someone's waist is 40, for example, it means the person is fat, and a fat person wouldn't want a fit cloth, he, he, he would want a dress that is, is, is very loose to his body. So for such a person, I would advise that you use and uh, you add 2 inches after dividing the waist measurement by 4, so that the trouser will be very free. Any waist from 36. 36 to 40, except um, the, the customer wants it fitted. If not, I would advise that you add two inches so that the dress, the trailer will be free at the lap area to be free for the customer to walk freely. So, this trouser, we're not going to cut it complete. In my next video, I'm going to, to show us how to cut a plain trouser from A to Z. So, subscribe to my channel so that when I do this a video on how to cut a plain trouser, you will be notified and you will quickly watch it. If you don't subscribe, you won't know when I'll drop my next video and you will not be able to watch. So, subscribe so that you will know immediately I drop my video on how to cut a plain trouser, you will be notified. Don't forget to turn the notification bell on. Subscribe and turn the notification bell on so that once I drop my video, you will be notified. Thank you so much. See you in another video. Thanks.